Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. And just a reminder, I said in the previous video that the you take the area of the entire circle, which is pi r squared, and you multiply it by which part you're talking about. So if we want to know the area of this green shaded sector of the circle, we take the central angle that creates it, in this case 65, and we divide by 360. So it's the entire area of the circle times the part you're talking about. All right, well, here we go. Let's try two examples. All right, numbers three and four. Uh, all right, three and four here, I want you to try on your own. And you are given the central angle here. And you want to know the area of this part of the circle and the area of this part of the circle, given the radius of those two. So pause the video, give it a try. Number three, we get 416.1 square centimeters. And here's how we get that. We're going to take the area of the circle, which is pi times r squared, so 17 squared. We're going to multiply it by the central angle of 165, and we are going to divide it by 360. That's the entire rotation of the circle. All right. Let's factor out 5 from the top here and the bottom here, and that'll leave me with 33 and 72. And on our calculator, we'll go ahead and multiply it. We have 3.14 times 17 times 17 times 33. Multiply all of that out and divide by 72. Hopefully, you got 416.1. Now, you might be a little bit off from here because if you're using the full value of pi on your calculator, in not just 3.14, but you carry it out, out um, further in some decimal places, then you might be a little bit further off. But basically, to the nearest tenth, that's the answer. All right, number four, I hope you tried it. We're going to take pi times the radius of 12 and square that. We're going to multiply by a 240 degree central angle and divide by 360. You can actually factor out 120 which will leave me with a 2 here and a 3 here and yes I can divide a 3 into one of those 12's up there but let's go ahead and multiply 3.14 times 12 times 12 times 2 divide by 3 answer 301.6 now remember our units in both of these are square units so here it's square kilometers alright well thanks for watching this video I hope it's been good practice for you and send me some comments if you like it. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.